So the bowls and the dishes, serving dishes, and the party supply section of the Dollar Tree can make some really beautiful decor. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. So here is a two-pack of bowls out of the supply party supply section of the dollar tree and these two are like some tall like candy bowls but i think the size of them is very nice and that these will make some very large decor pieces that's definitely budget friendly because the two smaller ones are two in the pack so pretty much what i'm going to do is just glue the smaller um two pack of bows to the bottom of the larger ones and I love the shape of the two pack I think they're designed really pretty and so all you have to do is just attach these and give this some paint and I think you have some really nice decor for your home that's budget friendly so I decided to go in with some chalk spray paint and the color that I am going to be using is Chaco, and I'm just showing you how large these are these are pretty large and so I'm going to give it two coats of spray paint, letting it dry in between each coat. And it's by Rust-Oleum. And here is the paint. So once I get them painted, this is how they turn out. Really simple, but I do love that charcoal color. I just sort of wanted to try out this color. Now, what I'm going to do is take some of this cafe color chalk paint. Now, you really can't see this on camera because it's really settled. I just wanted to go around the edge the top of this piece and the bottom and as I mentioned you really can't see it on camera and off camera is very subtle but I just wanted to bring in a little definition and so after I get those completed I'm going to just add in some greenery picks that I also picked up from the Dollar Tree and I have six picks and I'm just spreading them out to make them a little bit more fuller and I'm just going to be adding three picks in each one of these pieces and that's going to be it this was really simple easy to make and i think it's some budget friendly decor if you like changing up decor in your home and you don't want to break the bank these supply items in the party section are perfect They always have these um, serving bowls in the Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is I'm going to add a few holes to this. To do this, you do not have to force because you've cracked the bowl. Just kind of go back and forth in a circular motion. And it's just going to push through and create a hole. And so I'm just going to create a few more. I'm just holding it on there. I'm not forcing it. Just turn it back and forth. And it's just going to melt a hole. And it's really simple. And as you can see, I added three holes. Now what I'm going to do is give this some paint. I'm going to use some spray paint. And I'm going in with this charcoal color again. Here I'm creating a like a starter planner for a plant. And I like to create these so that when I'm gifting pieces of plants, they're in really pretty bows. Now, this is definitely a cat dish, yes, from the Dollar Tree. I thought this was the perfect size, perfect texture to add to the bottom of a planter um, for the bottom of the planter. And I love the rubber rim. I'm not gonna spray paint this or change the color because I think it's perfect. I'm just gonna hot glue this to, to the bottom and this is um, the pan at the bottom that's going to catch the water for this planter and I made the hose I love this this is really simple but I think gifting a plant or just starting off with a plant this is the perfect size and the cutest planter I did add a piece of plant in there because I am going to be gifting this to my sister I absolutely love plants I have all kind of plants in my home from <laughs> real plants to artificial plants but I think this serving bowl made the most adorable planter and what I'm going to do now is the another pack of those um, two pack of bowls that I used in the first set of DIYs I had another pack this is so budget friendly you get the two for a dollar and 25 cent and what I'm just going to be doing is hot gluing these together 
from the bottom and I'm just making sure that everything lines up perfect and after that is complete I am going to go in and spray paint this using some espresso color spray paint and that's by Rust-Oleum as well this is a simple DIY but it turns out so pretty so after I get that done here is how it looks I have this ribbon here this um, trio pack of um, it's like twine burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna pull off they like the decorative strips and I'm just going to pull off some and hot glue it to the center of this piece where I connected the two bows together I wanted to cover up where I connected them as well as add in a little bit more character and I love that you can um, spray paint these or paint these any color to fit your decor in your home and that's why i do love using items like this um, because you can style them according to your color and your style i'm just clipping off the excess and i'm tacking that down now i decided to add some rocks and some artificial succulents to this i thought it turned out really pretty so i just have these leftover stones that i pick up from the dollar tree that's all i needed just for the bottom to act as a filler and then i'm just throwing in some succulents that i um had i had these for a while i get these from hobby lobby and the dollar tree i got some of these from the dollar tree and that is it this is a really simple piece but i think it turned out really cute Now for the next DIY, I have this four pack of small little bows from the party supply section. And I took another one of those larger bows and I already poked some holes in them. Um, and I'm just going to attach this to the bottom using some hot glue, just a little hot glue. So just in case I wanna pull it off, it is drainage. I am spray painting it using that flat white matte spray paint. And this is how it turned out. You can leave it like this, but I'm gonna heavily distress this using some of that cafe color chalk paint by the brand Waverly. This is another way to style that bow to create a planner if you wanted to gift some flowers or just a starter planter from your home for your home I usually change out pots as my plants get bigger you know they outgrow the pots but I think these are so stylish and cute and if you were gifting a piece of your plant I would definitely um, create something really pretty um, that's budget friendly and looks really nice and so after I get that distress I'm just going around it a little bit more and making sure that I darken up around the edges. And then what I'm going to do is after I get that complete, I'm just gonna add a piece of plant in here. Um, and I'm also gonna be gifting this one to my sister as well. Um, she's um, starting to now um, want to have a few plants around the home. I have plenty, so I'm just breaking off pieces <laughs> and repotting them for her. And I just think these are so cute. Now for this next one, this is one of those serving bowls and um, it has like some space if you wanted to make a drainage, it's enough to drain the water. And I did add one hole to, to the bottom of the bowl just in case I wanna use it for that, but I'm just gonna be adding some artificial greenery um, to this one. But you can, and there's a little, there's some space for some water to drain and I did add a hole for just in case. Now. I love this color spray paint. The, the color is seaweed and it's by Rust-Oleum as well. So I'm gonna give this a coat and I love this color. Um, I love the greens in a different shade. I'm gonna distress this heavily only at the top using some of that cafe color paint. And that is gonna be it for this piece. I love this color. I love the combination of the two different serving bowls. And I love that you can style this up or down either way but i threw some artificial greenery in here and i really do love how this one turned out as well
Now for this DIY, there are not dishes from the party supply section, but I have this two pack of bowls from um, the kitchen section. I'm just pulling off the tag. I do love the shape of these bowls. This is heavy duty plastic and I think they're perfect for what I'm going to use it for. I'm also going to be using one of those waste baskets from the Dollar Tree. They make perfect planners and I have one of these white ones. I'm just going to remove the tag from the bottom. Now I'm going to paint these two pieces different color. I'm going to paint the white one with that seaweed color i'm adding some drainage holes to these as you can see i'm just turning the hot glue gun back and forth to create a hole and i'm gonna i think make about three of these really simple really really simple these waste baskets make really pretty planners you have a really good base to create paint style these and these bows are perfect for the bottom so I'm going to paint the bow using that espresso color and I'm going to paint the trash the waste basket um, using that green seaweed color once I have them both painted around the top part of that trash can I am just going to distress just a little bit not even much just around the edge using that cafe color paint it sort of it's sort of the same color as the bottom all I'm going to do is place the can right in the bowl it fits perfect and I love that you can make this any color to fit your decor and I just think this is a really cute planner I'm going to add a plant in there simple budget friendly and I absolutely love the simplicity of this one as well Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.